Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to today's uh, tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to integrate our live chat support into our Flutter application. And what we will be using uh, is the uh, API chat support uh, or chat API from Talk T A W K. So for this training, we will be using as usual Flutter and Talk. So the first thing I've created my application here. I've created everything, the codes and everything. So uh, just to make this tutorial short or to keep it uh, as short as possible, I've created all this, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I did and how I did it and run you through the codes and what to expect. So the first thing we are doing or we are to do is to go to our package.dat, look for WebView Flutter. This is it, WebView Flutter. Then this first one, then you go to installing and then copy it, copy it and uh, copy. Then come back to your project here, go to postpec.yml file and paste it on that Copatino icon. You will see that my interface here is clean. When you build yours or create your application, you will see a lot of uh, green commented lines which are called boilerplates so you can delete all those clean lines to make it as clean as this those green lines are instructions telling you what to do and what each line of code here does so you can go ahead delete that to clear it if you don't want to delete it you can go ahead and look for copatino icons it should be here and paste your web view under it once you've pasted click on pop get or type on your terminal you type flutter pub get is still the same thing as clicking this so it's going to get this package and its dependencies so with this done we are going to go over to this place go to your go to go to android folder expand it go to application folder expand it on the application folder you will see build.gradle. Now we want to increase our SDK to minimum of 23 because that's what we enable this uh, in-app browser to work. So normally it should be 16, but change it to 23 here. So this is what it looks like and it should be located directly inside this default configuration which you have here. So once this is set, you can now go ahead and then on your on your chat or sorry on your main uh the dot that file go ahead and clean up everything inside and type these codes okay uh for now you might get error when you type in this but starting from here you can type in this code the same way they appear here. Type it in and then type it. You can pause the video to type it. I want you to type it so that you will be able to uh, get used to the codes. And when you see a particular uh, code or error during your typing, you can be able to look for a way to resolve it or raise it up in the group chat. So with this, you should be able to create your this page you are seeing here once this is done you create this page here after typing this you might get an error somewhere here and somewhere up here so you are getting this error because you've not created this second uh, file on the library it's called chat so create another library another sorry another uh, file called chat.dat and then go to this place and these are the things you will likely see in it or it will be empty rather then type in this same way you are seeing it here type it in okay minus this particular url that is here i'm going to comment it out it's supposed to be empty for now because this is where we we'll put our API for assessing uh, this guy directly. So 
type in everything you see here. Type it in, type it in. And uh, let's say, what do I put? Online agent here. So all these things, type it the way you see them. Then you can pause the video just to type it. And uh, I'll scroll it slowly, slowly, slowly. So this initial URL, yeah. Let me remove this because this is my own key. So you have to generate your own key for you to be able to test it. So I want you to generate your own key and learn how to generate your own key. So with this, continue down, down, and down. So down here, you should be done with this. OK, so we are good to go. Let me run through the code again. This, 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 this. Just type it in as you see it. We'll discuss how to build widget later on. So this, 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 and this, and this, and up to this place so with this done you will have uh this this is where our uh online chat or live chat will be displayed on this chat page so go back to this place now let's go to talk for us to be able to get our api key so we uh, go to tawk.to talk and then Now, if you've not signed up, sign up and um, you will receive a verification email. So click on the verification email and then once done, return to this login. And once done, it will take you directly, it should take you directly to the dashboard. But before then, it will give you some couple of steps which you need to do, which is to create property where you add your property name, add the website, and uh, the name of the chat widget which you want to integrate so you can skip that or you can complete that but i will advise you to complete it because the next line or the next uh, phase uh, it will still require you to add a property so click on sign in and uh, it will sign you in to somewhere like this so once you've been signed in in this place go over to this administrator and click on it so normally you won't if you skipped that first page you won't be able to see this it will give you a button down here telling you to add a property so click on the bo uh, the button it will show you that is if you skip the uh, the step after signing in where it asks you to create properties and every other thing so you can add your name, add a website, your website or any other website you choose just to be able to get to this place. So once that is done, it will bring you to this environment. This is the property URL I set. This is the property name I set and the, uh, the widget, I just called it chat widget. So you can use this to set, you can add your property name and that's that. So this is the an overview where you build your uh the way your chat widget works so what we are looking for is located in this page this second page here now this is uh a javascript code that calls the api and displays uh the talk chat widget at the bottom of your website this is for websites only this is for websites only and then other things uh includes embedding into wordpress and so many other places but where we are more interested in is on this one direct chat link so with this chat link you can directly embed it or open it in any browser and it will take you directly to a chat link where you start a new conversation or where you do some other things so this is what we need so copy this guy copy it come back to your code here uh before now let's i've already programmed this before now this is our floating action button here and i'm telling it to navigate to live chat which is the name of this 
guy here live chat so it's going to go to the second page here once i click on it so let's click on it and see what it brings up so there's nothing in it because i've not defined the initial url selected url and the initial url so let's go ahead and uh in this web view under web view initial url paste in the key you copied you can you can use mine if you want but uh I can disable it at any time. So I can disable it by going to this place and disable it, and it might not work when you use it. But for the tutorial, please create your own talk. Uh, uh, sign up on talk and get your own API key. So let's go back. It takes us back. Now I reload this page, hot reload it. When I hot reload it, I click on this. So once I load it, this is what happens here. Let's let's do that again. Go back and you now load it. Once it has gotten the uh, the data required, it's going to display it here for us. So this is what you get. Now this is what you get in your uh, your app user when your app user click on it and comes to this place. And this is what happens on my own end here as the administrator of the site. So let's see. Let me just minimize this so we can be seeing the two screens at the same time. So for now, you can also invite other people to collaborate and to act as support agents here. So for this, we on monitoring is showing that you have somebody online, which is me here, which is this. So let's say I go back, it will say start new conversation. Because I'm online, it tells you that I'm active here. So you can go ahead, start new conversation. It will bring you to this place. You can set the welcome test here. I'll show you where to test, set it, and then you can start talking to me directly. So if I say, if I type hello, let me put many O's so that you know that this is me chatting. So once I send it, it tells me that somebody is chatting online, incoming message. So I click on it to open and it's showing me everything about the visitor and how it's connecting. So first, I'm already sending hello from here. Join me as a support. And then it shows that I just joined and it's showing my name here. So I can, I can go ahead and say, Hello, how can I help you? And then you see it here immediately. So this is how this future works. And this is everything about it. So I can decide that, okay, this guy is, is making a lot of trouble. So I can ban him here or any other stuff. And uh, I can decide okay uh you know what let me let me even log out from this let's say uh as we are chatting something happens and i get logged out so it will not be showing to tell you that i'm offline so i'm currently not online so you can when i'm not online you can leave a message here and i will see it now let's say uh I put my name as a uh, duo and duo at ggg dot com. I will say hello. Hello. 
Pilo. Yeah. So after this, I can now send my message and it will tell me that my message has gone, has been delivered. Now, if I'm here and automatically I sign in again here, what will happen is that it automatically brings me back since somebody is online, it will bring me back here and uh, it will show you that you have one message. So the message that he dropped while offline message, I can open it and I can read it. This is the name, this is the email, this is the message she dropped. So I can start a conversation for this ticket. I say, hello, good morning. And then, this is a ticket I've raised for this particular guy. But since this guy is online, I come online, I see them, they are not saying anything. As the person in charge, okay, let me change my name. Okay, I'm the only support person available here. You can still add others from administration, but that's not the main focus here. I can join this person. So most times you might see that you're on the waiting list because nobody is attending to you. So once they come online, they click on their name and and let's say I start typing. You see, it's 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 showing that I'm typing something here. Good morning, Chidiebere. How can I help you? So once I'm done, click on enter. It shows here. Yeah. I will say I H G, and then send it. So. Before I even send, it's already showing me what the person is typing, so I can prepare for the response. I'm going to, okay, let's do it again. I say F, G, H, C, D, D. So it's showing what I'm typing already. So you get prepared to respond to the person when the person uh, raises it. So this is all about this. Don't forget, on your build, change to 23 here make sure you get your own api this so you can be able to test out all these uh, both uh, front end and back end and then on this guy you can go ahead and uh, integrate all of these so this is all for now and this is the end of the uh, tutorial thank you